Hey guys, this is Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am making this really quick and easy DIY spice organization from the Dollar Tree. Now I believe I've seen this idea off of Pinterest before because I am always on there. But about a year ago my husband took me to a cooking class and I seen something like this when we were using the spices but I just never thought that I could actually find these little magnet tins from the Dollar Tree. And I seen them and right away I thought of organizing my spices. So that's what we're going to do today and let me go ahead and show you the items that you need. Okay, so you're just going to need a cookie pan from the Dollar Tree. This is a 13 inch by 9 inch. And then these magnetic tins. They come in a two pack. And then you could totally get some labels from the Dollar Tree. I seen them right by these magnetic tins where the like school supplies are and teacher supplies are. They have different sizes too, but I figured since I already had some lying around the house, I could just use these. Now, um, I could write on these labels and just stick them on or I can use my computer. Whatever you want to do is totally fine, but I think I'm going to try to see if I can print them on here. Okay, so I went ahead and opened the packages and I already stuck them onto the sheet pan like that. And I just have some of my spices right here. I brought nine out that I use a lot and my labels are right here. I just printed them out and like I said, you don't have to do this. You can easily just write on the labels if you want or you can use your printer. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is stick these labels on here. And I figured, okay, this label is kind of big for this. And they also do have bigger ones. They have them about that big, but I didn't need them that big. So um, I decided to get the smaller ones. This covers most of the lid, but I don't want it to cover most of the lid just because the purpose of me buying these is so I can see the spice inside of there. So I'm just gonna um, cut the top and bottom off of each one and stick them on there. Okay, so I have all of the labels on here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my spices to it. Okay guys, this is the finished product and I just love the way it turned out. What I'm going to do is put it right here. I did like it better turned this way instead of long ways. So it's just right here next to my oven and my where my counter is at. So I'm gonna put it right here like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. It was a quick and easy DIY that I really, really love. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.